tonight's program, Rebooting the Cosmos, is the world the ultimate computer. Uh, before we get started tonight, we have a special little surprise, and that is um, we are proud to host our media partner, Scientific American, and the Foundational Questions Institute, as they announce the winners of their third annual essay contest. And this is a worldwide contest where they pose the question, is the world analog or digital? And a lot of the topics that were discussed in the submissions are going to be the topics that we're discussing here on the stage tonight. And so we thought it only appropriate that they come and they announce the winners here on our stage. And so to do this, I'd like to introduce you to Max Tegmark, who is the Scientific Director of the Foundational Questions Institute, and uh, he'll lead us through the ceremonies. Pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me to first introduce Anth Professor Anthony Aguirre, who is the Associate Scientific Director of our Institute, and my co-conspirator in uh, running this organization, which basically aims to support physics using philanthropic funding. We're also very grateful to the John Templeton Foundation, who has supported both the World Science Festival and our organization, and many of the people you'll see later tonight are, are members of Foundation Quest Institute. I'm also delighted to uh, introduce you to George Musser, who is a senior editor of Scientific American. And I'm really grateful that you guys are the media partner for this, because it's because of you that so many people around the world heard of this contest and decided to enter into it with great contributions. I'm uh, also delighted to get to introduce you to Sarah Reha, who is the executive vice president of the Gruber Foundation, who has generously contributed and donated most of the prize money that we're going to get to, to give out here. And last but not least, I also want to thank Brian Green, Tracy Day, Molly Webster, and the rest of the World Science Festival crew for giving us this, this wonderful opportunity to honor the winners of this contest. So thank you so much. So, the topic of tonight's discussion following us here is whether our universe is in some deep level digital or discrete. And when I look at the water in my bottle, it looks very continuous and fluid, yet we know it's made of discrete things, atoms. At the same time, we know that these discrete atoms are really just manifestations of continuous things that we call quantum fields. So, what is the ultimate fabric of reality? Is reality digital or analog? That's the question that we posed to the world, and the response was amazing. We got 161 essays written from people from six different continents, both from inside and outside academia. This was a very tough contest to win, but in the end, after a lot of deliberation, we were able to give out 18 prizes, totaling $40,000. You can Google the Foundational Questions Institute or type Scientific American Essay Contest into your browser and find all the winners. They'll get posted right after this. The second prizes, which were two prizes for $5,000 each, one of them went to David Tong from Cambridge, who cannot join us tonight. The other one of those went to a gentleman who's flown in all the way from Spain to come and collect this tonight. Tobias Fritz. winner who wins $10,000, who has traveled all the way from Finland to come and collect his prize, is Jarmo Mäkelä. Thank you everybody.